Now I have with me Dr. Rafat Fahim, the CEO of Nabi Biopharmaceuticals. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. I think probably the best way to start this is maybe just a brief overview of what Nabi is working on. Uh, so Nabi is actually focused on vaccine development. We are a biopharmaceutical company with a focus on vaccines, and we have uh, two major pipeline vaccines, one for smoking cessation and the other one for staphylococcus infections. Mm -hmm. Well, let's, let's delve a little bit further into, we'll do Nick Nick's Vax first, which is the, uh, the smoking cessation vaccine. Right. It's actually a very interesting market. When you think about it, it's probably one of the major uh, unmet medical needs that we have today. There are approximately 1.3 billion smokers worldwide. If you focus on the U.S. alone, and so we have about, about 45 million smokers in the U.S. The health care um, cost in the U.S. is approximately 167 billion. You have you know, a validated pathway as of now, which is interesting in itself, as I'm sure we're going to get into, but you know, there are approved products right now for Correct. smoking cessation. Correct. Chantrix and Zyban. Um, but I think it's very, very important to note that there are some very serious side effects that are associated with these therapies. What Shantex did is actually two important things. Number one, it showed the world that the market for uh, um, smoking cessation therapeutics is huge because in the first year of sales, they approached a billion dollars. So, so that's number one. But on the other hand, they got a black box, which you know, showed the market is there but then turn around and obviously got capped mm -hmm. with that market simply because of that side reactions. Which actually is, you know, brings up the method of, of or the mode of action of, of your drug. It's a vaccine, it's different. Nicotine is a very, very small molecule and once you smoke it, you inhale the, uh, the puff from a cigarette, nicotine travels so fast to the bloodstream and then crosses the blood-brain barrier because of its small size. But another important feature of nicotine because of its small size is that you and I cannot produce antibodies to that molecule of so mm -hmm. small size. What Navi has done is taken that small molecule, conjugated it with the larger globular proteins, and now your, your body and your immune system can recognize that as a foreign molecule mm -hmm. and now has antibodies to nicotine. The next time you smoke, still the nicotine will go to the bloodstream, but now faces the antibodies, and the antibodies latches to it, and then the molecule of the antibody and the nicotine becomes too big mm -hmm. to cross the blood-brain barrier. Well, I think you're, you're already seeing some very positive signs from the FDA, uh, obviously, as you know, the, uh, the uh, SPA agreement that you have. We certainly are extremely pleased to have those. These are mm -hmm. very valuable assets in our view, simply because uh, with the special protocol assessments, almost like a contract with the FDA, you get it. They approve the design of the trial. They approve the outcomes of the trial. Mm -hmm. They approve the safety numbers and therefore the likelihood that you get a license is high. Mm. What we were fortunate is at the same time we went to scientific advice to EMEA mm. and we convinced them that the design we have is the appropriate design mm. and therefore now you have concordance between the two highest um, respected regulatory agents in the world agreeing mm. on the design and the, and the outcomes. Let's move on to Pentastaff, your other, uh, your other vaccine you're working on. Five valences, which is yeah different, a lot higher than most vaccines, and I would argue probably a, a more effective therapy towards something as, as difficult as staph. Right. Um, do you want to, I guess, walk, walk, work through how you're using uh, collaborations with the government in order to move the entire program forward? Certainly um, a collaboration, a CRADA um, uh, collaboration with the U.S. Uh, Department of Defense is extremely important for us but it certainly helps us from a financial perspective, mm -hmm. from a speed to market perspective, because they will conduct all of these clinical trials at their own dime and, and therefore their own expertise as well. You also in a very uh, advantageous position as well, being at NABI, given your cash position. I think it also is, is um, evidence of a proven track record of drug development. Um, for those that don't know, they sold a major portion of their biologics uh, development to biotest for, I believe, 130 million? 185 million in total consideration, yeah, yes. More. You have the money to push these trials through their phase three programs. You know, last points that you want to make to the investor, what kind of events or milestones do you think an investor can be looking for in, in Navi Biopharmaceuticals in the next year window? What I can tell you is what we're focusing on, and we're focusing on, on two important elements. Number one is the strategic alternatives 
um, process that we are in the middle of and we have um, announced that uh, about a year ago. The other important thing is to continue adding value to the program we have because obviously we have um, a, a major lead with those two programs of our competitors and we need to continue adding value for those. So, um, you know, obviously we are in the middle of discussing how we start the phase three and do that. So hopefully with a partner uh, to start that phase three. Dr. Fiem, thank you very much. Thank you. Again, it's Nabi Biopharmaceuticals. It trades on the NASDAQ under the symbol N-A-B-I. To find out more information at onemedplace.com as well as their website, nabi.com. Thank you.